celebrate Switch Day. Come on. It's the one year Switch anniversary. Celebrate Switch Day. Come on. You really mean so much to me. <laughs> Booze. But I'm back. Well, hey there, foods. Mr. T here. How you doing? Oh, what a glorious, wonderful occasion we get to do a video today on. It's the one year anniversary for the Switch, foods. <laughs> oh, so exciting. I can't believe it's one year already. Seems like just yesterday we got that cool, you know, NX slash Nintendo Switch reveal trailer. What was that, October uh, 2016? How uh, amazing was that? Oh, was so cool. And uh, now, you know, the Switch has blossomed into a wonderful console. It's got some great things. It's got some good things. And it also got some, oh, well, so-so things, shall we say. So uh, let's talk about it, fools. Um, as you know, over the year, I've been doing many videos, enjoying my Switch. Many times I'm comparing it to my favorite console of all times, the N64. It's in that upper echelon in, in many ways. Uh, uh, one of the biggest ways that it's like the N64 is its innovative nature, you know, uh, the hybrid console nature of it. Obviously, the N64 uh, was one, in, one of Nintendo's most innovative consoles ever, uh, being that it was the first full-on 3D uh, console, uh, home console there was, uh, with the really, really unique controller and the rumble packs and the expansion packs and all that cool stuff and, you know, all the fantastic colors and whatnot, and I see that potential in the Switch as well and also, obviously, it has the Joy-Con, the hybrid nature of it where you can take it on the go and play it at home, the same experience uh, we've never really had that we've had attempts at that but we've never really had a situation where you can take that home console experience anywhere in your house or out, you know, out and about in the world. So very cool. Uh, obviously, I did a video where I, uh, I took a, a little mini vacation and I, I took the Switch with me and I was on the airplane and just enjoying my Switch. And I was sharing photos on Twitter and stuff. And people seem to really be uh, excited about seeing that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, it's, it's things that I never even thought about before the Switch came out. Uh, that will, became really important to me and uh, the hybrid nature of it uh, for one I just I don't know why I just didn't really realize how much more it would allow me to play video games over a uh, home console just being able to sit back you know sitting home and being stuck to that um, that, that console would be stuck to that TV screen and being able to take it anywhere not just on the go but in, in the house you know I don't want to just be stuck uh, in my man cave and away from the family and gaming all the time I can't do that you know even if I wanted to I can't do that so it allows me to take my home console experience anywhere inside my house as well so that is also an amazing thing uh, you know a lot of really cool games amazing games came out Nintendo themselves you know as a publisher and as a developer really brought the games in uh, 2017 with the switch it was uh, just a stellar stellar lineup and it was it was very uh, it was a very consistent lineup throughout the year and it was nicely spread out uh, you got really big games uh, strong titles throughout the year for the switch and third party showed up with some big games as well uh, it wasn't obviously to the extent of uh, the other consoles but it came with some big games uh, and as you'll see yeah, I'm going to talk about those when I show my games for the year uh, uh, the first year of the Switch and uh, I'll talk a little bit maybe uh, after that uh, what I'm looking for beyond but uh, it was a, a nice uh, you know plethora of games to be able to play on the Switch a nice variety of games and I really enjoyed that uh, now with things that I didn't enjoy so much on my Switch obviously uh, main one for me is a messaging system uh, at least with Miiverse on Wii U you were able to uh, interact with your fools your friends on uh, online in some aspect uh, even that wasn't even that was still kind of disjointed in many ways but it was something you know and the switch is very bare bones even now a year later now obviously they've been working on their online infrastructure uh, it's taking them longer than i guess they expected uh, but I think a messaging system, just a simple messaging system, would have been pretty easy. You could have, you could put that at a as a uh, standard console level type of thing, and uh, to not have that uh, bothers me a lot. Now there are some fools that want the virtual console. I don't care. I've I've done at least a couple of videos on that 
the fact that I don't care about virtual console uh, anymore at this point. Um, one, I'm a, you know, I'm a uh, old school gamer. I still have all my old consoles and hardware and all that, all the software, and I'm able to play those on the original hardware, which is kind of what I like to do anyway. Um, but obviously, I understand it's nice to have all your games in one thing on the go, uh, on the console, on the on the Switch. That is still a good thing to have. I'm not saying anything about that. Anybody who wants that, that's fine. I'm just saying for me, I don't really care that much about it because at this point, I'm not looking forward to buying <laughs> games that I've already bought on my Wii Virtual Console and some of my Wii U Virtual Console. And having to rebuy those games again is not something I'm looking forward to. So I just really don't care at this point. I can enjoy my games on my TV. I, uh, I have all the uh, adapters and extenders to allow me to play my uh, original hardware and software on a HD TV, so I'm pretty much, and so I'm pretty happy with the uh, with that aspect. So uh, I'm fine with that. Now the online and uh, chatting online and being able to voice chat and all that stuff. Again, I don't really care about that. I didn't like what Nintendo initially brought out, which was that app and having to go through your phone. Did a video on that, obviously. Um, but for me, there are way better options that are free. Um, um, than anything that Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft can offer for my, for my buck, you know, it's like the quality of what I can get on Discord and, uh, uh Google Hangout is just better, and, uh, I'm just more used to it, and, uh, I've never been, uh, a big online chat person for gaming and stuff, so, uh, having those options, and those options are, are free, at least right now, <laughs> they better not change, but, they're all, they're, for me, they're better than what's offered on those paid uh, uh, subscriptions. And I understand that it's good to have everything in one all there together uh, coming through your console. Uh, it's convenience. I understand that. But for me, I've always multitasked, you know, so to have things separately, not a, not a big thing for me. And I understand why people, some people want that all in one. And I'm not saying anything about that. So I'm not saying anything against that, I should say. So that's fine. But for me, um, I don't mind not paying <laughs> for online obviously even if it's twenty dollars which it will be on switch uh, i'm not uh, in a hurry to pay anyway so let's talk about you know my games and uh you'll we'll look at my physical games and we'll also get a look at my digital ones that i downloaded from the eShop. so take it away big t hey everybody big t here just gonna dive a little bit more into the switch being that it's the one year anniversary of the switch here's my switch console here looking really good uh, that little sled there on the, the controller there but um yeah i'm really happy with this i love the form factor of the switch i've talked about that plenty of times um here's my uh, day one switch still looking pretty good got some fingerprints on the back no big deal there but i'm using the white i got tighter with the board uh board with the black background so i just switched it up to the white switch <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I just it's a really clean looking console. Obviously, the interface looks real nice and clean. I always like that from the beginning, and uh, yeah, I just you know, I just love how it looks. And, and very much like the N64, it just feels and looks like a video game console. Or well, I felt like most game consoles were going the way of like entertainment devices. And uh, obviously, it looks like a um, <clears throat> a, a tablet, but you know, I think that is a cool thing. Uh, a very high-end kind of looking thing but also still a video game console here my joy cons are um i, I have bought two extras um, i wanted to have the full color set um so i can switch again <laughs> and if i want all blue cons a uh, controller if i want uh, all red uh, joy con grip then i can do that and uh so i bought a bunch of controllers there and uh i, I just love the split joy con setup and here we have the game of the year, the game of uh, probably the generation, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, amazing game. I just got back into it again and I need to finish up the DLC and stuff and it's just, the game just keeps on giving. Um, I'm over 200 hours. Um, a lot of people are over that because it just offers so much. I'm sure by the end of the time, I'll be close to 400 hours because I'm gonna go through the master mode and all that. But this is just amazing game, um, game changer, changer for the series and just video games in general. I just love it. And uh, next up, this is Bomberman R. I'm showing you my. I'm trying to go through, you know, uh, basically in order of the games that I bought. Bomb Super Bomberman R, which was a nice comeback game. Um, it's not as good as the old ones, but it's still good enough, and um, I enjoy it. So. 
Next up, this is the only game that I'm, I currently have that I'm disappointed in. Uh, has been Heroes. I haven't played it much. I don't like uh, the gameplay aspect of losing everything when you die and having to start all the way over. Just not fun for me. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad game, but you know, it's just not for me. So and here we have I Am Setsuna. This is the Japanese version of the game because it was the only one I believe that came physically. So I wanted to get that version. Um, it was a little bit more expensive at the time to get, but I think it's worth it as a uh, game collector myself. Um, I, I always like to have the physical, you know, when I can get it. So um, very good RPG. I'm gonna talk about RPGs because to me, the RPG or today is different from before. So I'll talk about that in another video. Um, and here is Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. Um, again, uh, you know, I, I wanted to get this game because I think that eventually it'll be kind of sought after. It'll be, uh, you know, it'll be a collector's item for sure, being that it's a physical Switch game. Here we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, obviously, I have Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, and this one here comes with all the DLC, but the reason I went and bought this game again was for a real battle mode, something I wanted from day one once I got Mario Kart 8 on Wii U was a real full-fledged battle mode and this game delivers on that and it's just gorgeous even better looking than the Wii U version which is crazy uh, Lego CD in the cover I did not buy this game day one because I didn't like the fact that it was ten dollars more than it was on Wii U when it launched it was sixty dollars not fifty so I waited till it came down to I think 33 I like the fact that you could play co-op with your kids and uh, I just really like the game so highly recommend it then we have ARMS. Um, ARMS is an awesome fighter game, very very Nintendo, different type of fighter game. Um, super polished, beautiful graphics, and the community just died on it. Um, I lost a little interest once, I guess, uh, Splatoon came out and just games kept coming. Um, but this is a really polished game. It just keeps getting better with updates. Very highly recommended game. And obviously, like I said, Splatoon 2. Uh, the sequel to the amazing Wii U game, uh, it has a ton of stuff in it now. Obviously, it launched uh, similar to the Wii U version where, where it didn't have stuff, but like Salmon Run is just awesome. I wish they would unlock that. I have to do a video talking about what Splatoon 3 better be <laughs> uh, because I don't want it to be the same way as what the other two were. And Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle from Ubisoft. Uh, basically, the, the the best thing that Ubisoft has done on Switch so far, uh, the most uh, you know, it's just a great freaking game. I had no idea uh, that this was gonna work as well as it does. It's a great game. I highly recommend it. Um, very cool strategy, uh, RPG is kind of game. It's really cool. I love it. And then we have NBA 2K18. I play the crap out of this game. I always love basketball games, especially the 2K series. And this is a really good um, version of the game. I don't want to say port because it came out day and date with the other ones, so digitally anyway. I got the. I waited for the physical copy because again, I like physical copies. Um, obviously, um, it does. Everything's not on the cart. And that's the only downside to this game. Other than that, it is a great version of NBA 2K18. And here is my game of the year, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, just, I, I can't say enough about this game. It's just so polished, so beautiful. Great gameplay with Cappy. Just a really cool um, throwback to the N64, uh, Super Mario 64. And it's just, this is why I say this reminds me of the N64 so much because it has those top tier franchises. Um, game-changing franchises on it and uh, Super Mario Odyssey is just an amazing game that keeps getting better um, we've got the cool balloon update but uh, maybe there's more to come the, the developers didn't uh, say it wouldn't happen so and here is uh, Skyrim the Elder Scrolls 5 uh, love this love this game um, this is the third time I'm buying it I bought it twice on 360 uh, two different versions and uh, this is just it's crazy to me to have a a game like Skyrim, the size of Skyrim, on a handheld, um, and it's a very beautiful version of the game. Very nice, love it. And uh, more Bethesda love with Doom. Um, I actually kind of predicted Doom would happen because uh, I saw that the engine was compatible with it early on the Switch, and I said Doom would make a lot of sense on Switch. Uh, it would just be a nice showcase game, 
and Bethesda dropped it out of nowhere on us, and it was still a surprise, even though I, I thought it was coming. Uh, but it is a great game, especially with the update now. Is um, so some people will say is the console uh, the definitive version, and uh, here's Axiom Verge, uh, a game I bought on Wii U. Uh, indie game, very much Zelda, or Zelda, very much uh, Metroid-like, um, and I love this game. Um, I haven't played it, I haven't uh, beaten it yet, I'm close, I'm getting close to the end, I believe, and it's just awesome to have this game on Switch, and uh, to have a physical version, that's why I bought it, so. Here's another one, uh, Cinemora EX, um, uh, THQ has been, been doing some good stuff on Switch, and this is a really cool shooter game, if you like uh, shoot 'em up games from yesteryear. Uh, this is a great one, and uh, it's really cool. It's got a cool story and it's beautiful graphics. Um, I definitely recommend Cinemora EX if you like shooter games. So. And uh, Gun uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt Striker Pack. This is awesome. I bought the the original Gun Azure Striker Gunvolt on uh, 3DS a couple years ago. Loved it, and uh, this is the sequel with. Uh, the original put together and uh, it's just an amazing package looks great on the switch highly recommend this if you can find the uh, the physical version totally get that uh, this is definitely going to be a collector's item at some point so and here's the game of the year farming simulator <laughs> uh, i love farming simulator games uh, i've played them over the years uh, definitely wanted to get the switch one uh, you guys saw my labo video you know my history with farming and whatnot go check it out um and i'm definitely i haven't had time to really get into this game yet but i will for sure because i like these games and here we have uh the sequel to xenoblade chronicles to so xenoblade chronicles 2 um an, an excellent rpg i haven't had the time to really get into it. i'm about 24 hours or so in and uh i just i want to do a video talking about the, my RPG experiences from before and now I just I just want to do a video talking about you know the changes it has nothing to do with this game or any other games I'm just having a struggle with RPG games uh, in my time these years so let's I'll talk about that in another video here we have rhyme um, this game also recently got an update and it is now playable it is a great game I think it, you know you have to be into these types of games um, this game is visually beautiful. I love the puzzles. It's so engaging. Um, it's just a very mysterious story, and uh, I'm, re I'm really enjoying it, getting into it. I'm going to probably beat it pretty soon, um, but it's just I'm glad they fixed it, and you support me, I support you. So I went out and bought it, um, and I got the soundtrack, which is very cool. So, yeah, um, this is my other latest pickup, Payday 2. I maybe have two hours in the game. I haven't really had a chance to do it, play it too much. But uh, I played Payday on the PS3 back in the day. Like that. Um, the only problem is that you pretty much have to uh, have friends uh, uh, to make it fun online to go on heist and whatnot. Um, you can still play, you know, obviously, the single player version, which is really good. But uh, to play online, you want to have that friend experience, I think. Uh, especially with no voice chat on Switch. So this is, you know, my latest pickup on. A switch and uh, there'll be more to come this year for sure all right so let's take a look at my peripherals uh, here you have my dusty <laughs> my dusty nintendo switch pro controller um it's dusty because i don't really use it a whole lot um i usually use the split joy con setup um but i really like this controller i you know it's very comfortable in the hands uh, there you have the uh, battery that looks very similar to the 3ds slash wii u uh gamepad uh battery I'm sure they're using similar technology. Uh, I think this is a 70-hour um, battery, something ridiculous. Or is it 40? I think it's 40. It's, it's just crazy. And uh, the only thing that's stopping it from being a top for me, my favorite console, or one of my favorite controllers of all time, is that no, no analog uh, uh, triggers. But uh, we also have here, obviously, my preferred way to play most of my Switch games is the split Joy-Con setup. I love this setup. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Wii um, remote and nunchuck setup, which is very comfortable to me. This is a little smaller, um, but somehow it just it feels still feels okay, really good in my hands. So um, I, I'm not really uh, have a problem. Remember when uh, this was a huge thing where you couldn't take off your uh, you know your uh, little uh, grip uh, holders here? Uh, remember that when it was just a 
a terrible thing and people were trying to make it a big thing but <laughs> nobody talks about that anymore because it's not a big deal it never was uh but anyway yeah this is my preferred setup i love it and uh yeah i just want to show uh, a couple of my uh amiibo here uh, some of my favorite ones obviously the breath of the wild amiibos are probably the most detailed amiibos out there they look really good here's link uh, with his uh guardian arrow here he looks really nice on that puff of smoke um, looks just really nice and detailed man. I mean, they just got better and better with the amiibos um, unfortunately uh, the amiibos don't sell as much I don't think anymore not as big, but the Zelda she looks great the only thing I would have wished if that they had another version of Zelda where she's in the dress I don't think they do if she's in her ceremonial dress that would have been cool um, I would have definitely got that as well uh, or Link in a Guardian, uh, his Guardian armor would be dope too. Uh, I would definitely get something like that. But yeah, this is, you know, these are really nicely detailed amiibos and I enjoy them. Now we're going to get a look at my games on the console. You're obviously going to see games that are on cartridge as well, but I just want to go through and show you some of my games that I can't show you physically. So Max and the Curse of Brotherhood, I just recently got that not too long ago. I haven't had a whole lot of time in that yet, but I really like it. Rive is a game that I have a lot of fun with when I play it, but because there's so much other stuff to play, um, I don't I haven't played it that much. Maybe three hours in it. Uh, Fast RMX, I love that game. I haven't played it much lately, but I really got uh, my bang for my buck out of that game for sure. Wonder Boy, Floor Kids is awesome, an awesome breakdancing rhythm game. It's just it's dope. <laughs> You have World of Goo, which works very well. Uh, the Wii game came over, works really well. We have Volgar, which is hard as hell. <laughs> uh, Double Dragon 4, which I like. I don't know why there was so much controversy or dislike of this game, because it's very similar to Double Dragon series on NES, so maybe that people just went, wasn't expecting that. Uh, More Fight is one of my favorites. Rogue Trooper, I have so much fun with that game. Still need to beat it. I'm really close to beating it, maybe another half hour, hour into that game. Um, Blaster Master Zero, great. I mean, uh, Rhyme. Uh, well, actually, I have Rhyme physically, so. Uh, it's just a lot of really good uh, indie games for the system, and it's great. Well, fools, there you have it. Uh, the Switch, switch anniversary. Uh, I showed you uh, some of my games. Well, I showed you all my games, uh, uh, physically and digitally. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this console. I'm looking forward to what's coming this year. I think there's going to be some pretty big surprises coming this year. Uh, some fools think uh, it's going to be a letdown year. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Nintendo is definitely going to surprise us with some stuff. I'm, I still strongly believe Pokemon uh, for Switch is coming this year. Um, I'm not as strong with uh, Metroid this year. Um, still possible, still a possibility in my mind, but I'm not sure. Uh, but outside of that, there's going to be some surprises. I'm looking forward to Kirby. We know that's coming. Looking forward to Yoshi. Looks amazing. Uh, definitely looking forward to Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, looks great. It's going to have a story mode. Harkening back to the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Um, yeah, it's just... Switch is looking really good. It's selling great. Uh, which was, was going to mean more games. And uh, I think, like I said, I think there's going to be some surprises here. I won't speculate here. But definitely looking forward to it. And... The first year has been great. I don't know what else to say. It's been amazing. I think the second year might even be better. It may not be as consistent, streamlined as far as the game's coming out. But I think the third party will actually be better this year. And, uh, you know, uh, first party will still have some amazing uh, uh, game drops. So I'm looking forward to that. So let me know in the comments uh, below, fools, how you feel about your Switch in the first year. It's been a great year all around. And uh, looking forward to what's coming in the future. So let me know what you think. In the comments below, fools. And that's it for my uh, Switch celebration here. Celebrate Switch Day. Come on. <laughs> it's the Switch anniversary. All right, fools. Uh, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and listening. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Play Nintendo, fools. <laughs>